even the truck drivers that bring your vegan food into the supermarket eat meat. In order to keep a job, you have to eat meat. Show me one vegan truck driver, they fall asleep due to lack of energy, man. Dang. All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. If you're new, my name is Bobby. Guys, today we have a special video by Jungo2. He created a short film titled Shame on Vegans. What would our ancestors think of veganism? Finally, something creative in the vegan space. Let's have a look. Vegans, the relatively new breed of humans wow, that tough. is changing everything. Changing everything, bro. Let's go. Change the world. Epic music, pyramids, ancestors. Our ancestors were drinking milk in a cornfield. Yes. Think of blood, DNA. Big Bang. They're changing how humanity has lived since its beginning and somehow changing and deciding their biologically ideal diet. Yeah, they can't change their biologically ideal diet. For that, you would have to change your own biology. And of course, I know for vegans that is a dream come true. They are transhumanists after all. They would like to change their DNA or just die altogether and upload their consciousness into the cloud. Nevertheless, your biology is not that of a herbivore. Hence, veganism is a mental illness. They say it's the end of meat for humanity, but at the same time, Ooh. together with hippie vegan scientists, they're making fake meat out of salad. I mean, it's pretty good, I'll give them that. So, our ancestors must be ashamed of this rising group of humans called vegans. And as a vegan mice, our ancestors are dead, but yes, they would be ashamed, of course. Self, I totally. Not only your ancestors, honestly, even your parents would be ashamed. We agree. I'm aware that we are here today, all because of what our ancestors did for us, and vegans are destroying it all. But let's be honest. Who cares? In this video, I'm going to talk about how our ancestors are ashamed of vegans and how exactly it doesn't matter. Okay. Uh, what? What is going on? <laughs> sure, that definitely cannot miss in a vegan video. Why not stand with Syria, Afghanistan, Palestine, anybody? No? Okay. Well, first of all, it is not the smartest, but instead, absolutely nonsensical to compare our morality to our ancestors, not just because they lived in a much different environment, but also had lower moral standards as a whole. When we bring up our ancestors with the intention to justify the consumption of animal products today. What ancestors are you talking about, man? Are you just talking about cavemans now because you believe those are our ancestors, or are you talking about exactly every single generation up until now even the truck drivers that bring your vegan food into the supermarket eat meat in order to keep a job you have to eat meat show me one vegan truck driver they fall asleep due to lack of energy man we mean What's humans from thousands of years ago which was a time when agriculture was insufficient or was not even a thing so hunting animals for food agriculture is 10,000 years old since the rise of agriculture you can see deterioration in those people what is exactly good about agriculture fishing and eventually farming of animals and consumption of their flesh and milk used to be an absolute necessity for them to survive and thrive still is bro to be exact it is called circle of life but as we yeah. all know things have changed but hold on no things have not changed yes you have more supermarkets with more vegan products but things have not changed in order for something to live something must die this circle of life has never changed no matter how comfortable you feel in your smart city to do what we're supposed to be it eating be the same regardless of how our culture and society progress yeah, well progress super progress everybody has an only fans and is wearing a mask whilst doing the it. academy of nutrition and dietetics and the progress. british dietetic association two of the largest organizations of nutrition professionals to in the world confirm that a well-planned whole food plant-based diet is nutritionally adequate and healthy in uh. all stages of life 10,000 of ex-vegans claim to differ. Including pregnancy, which means we can get all the essential nutrients we need from plants. The biological debate aside, if our ancestors had the abundance of food we have- It's nice that you just brushed the biological debate aside. Oh, just, just, just aside. Fact of the matter is that anatomically, we are not herbivores. You can simply look that up. Therefore, discarding your species-specific diet and consuming something that is not meant for human consumption in the first place will always lead to 
detrimental health outcomes. Of today, I'm pretty no sure they wouldn't go out of their way and spend their outcome. energies and risk their lives to hunt giant mammoths. At least there's no question that them killing a mammoth just for them to enjoy carved stone cups of mammoth milk latte in the afternoon would just seem a bit wasteful. So, according to our moral agency, because Humor. animal products are not required, this should make all pain, fear, and suffering from the exploitation, torture, and slaughter that we inflict on animals in the modern days unnecessary. So our choice or lifestyle becomes an issue okay. of morality and things become quite clear. People are starting to make the connection that their sensory pleasure does not justify what they do to others. So instead, they choose to step up and live vegan and enjoy what they grew up with in a different and less harmful way. For exactly, enjoy what they grew up with. As you already showed there, there was a hamburger. So people already eat plant-based without knowing it. This year is a vegan burger, but let's assume in the middle we would actually have some some meat. What would really change? Nothing much. Look at it. Potatoes are vegan. The bread is vegan. All the toppings, the sauces, the salad, everything is vegan. Then they usually have a thin piece of burger meat and that is that. The standard American diet is already 80% plant-based. Therefore, if you've been brainwashed to such a degree to already consume 80% plants, it's really not hard to cut out the last 20% and simply go vegan different and less harmful way for an in-depth summary of the ethics and core value of veganism watch my previous video now what about our cultures and traditions that extreme vegans are destroying isn't veganism rather a devolution of humanity well if yeah duh obviously it is even if you take evolution as the argument which i personally do not but then you would have to admit that it was meat hunting etc which made us human so all of that by your own logic would would lead to human deterioration. Our more recent ancestors are still ashamed of vegans. They must also be ashamed that their descendants stood up against and banned slavery and racial segregation, gave women the right to vote. A woman's right to vote? I'm definitely ashamed of that, man. And are standing up Should for be. racial justice, giving women equal pay, rights and power as men, legalizing same-sex marriage, exactly. and advocating for LGBTQ <laughs> communities, right? He says it as if it was a good thing. <laughs> but who cares? Do you feel ashamed for supporting this moral and cultural evolution yes again we all know we are here today because, because it's not moral at all it is human deterioration just as veganism there is nothing good about it our ancestors ate animals for thousands of years so also we on top of that people really don't realize that all of those phenomena have been observed already be it in the greek empire or in the roman empire you saw when the society becomes the most evolved the most civilized that is when they become the most degenerated. You can see a lot of homosexuality, even transvestites within those empires. And this is always just before they fall. Why is that so? It's actually very, very simple. In order for a society to function, we need a family structure that is healthy. A healthy family structure is, of course, only male and female and a bunch of kids. Nowadays, you see the opposite. If people procreate, they have maybe one kid, one and a half kids, if you believe the statistics. On top of that, we have a lot of transgenderism, homosexuality, pornography pushed onto the society. You can clearly see that we are a boastful society that hasn't evolved into something better, but is just at peak degeneracy shortly before the fall. Certainly wouldn't be here if they didn't go to wars, kill each other, exploit, mutilate, or even physically assault others. Oh. Yeah, we say these things are evil and people who engage in who those should be punished. We don't say these things should be continued because they've been done for thousands of years. Yeah, but at the same time, they are continued by your government. And we should not base our morality on legality and existing laws. Plus, if you look at every single person that radically changed the history of humanity. Yeah, great, man. And Therefore, check out my video on Mahatma Gandhi, where he admits on his deathbed that vegetarianism is wrong. Every one of them yep. was a lawbreaker. Link so this should be enough for you to know that what our ancestors did, or what led us here, does not matter, or at least shouldn't dictate what we do today, unless we learn from it to build a better world. No, Veganism okay. is all about bringing peace to the world by avoiding exploitation. Vi He's speaking about bringing peace in the world 
by showing a mask up child. What's wrong with you? Peace to the world by avoiding wow, exploitation, violence so and go. suffering as much as possible, and learning to respect the basic fundamental right to live. But many of us are claiming But who would respect that at all? Don't you understand that? No, you actually really don't. Everything eats each other, everything feeds off each other. In order for me to live, something must die. And for you as well, as a vegan, you're supporting animal cruelty, dude. Wake up. Agriculture, plant agriculture, is killing millions of animals. This is movement based around Whoa. justice and compassion. By compassion. using the people who have those lower moral standards. Those in other bad words, people what we're back doing in the day. here is essentially mm -hmm. using the same moral Low and morals. value system that used to justify all those horrible things that we can... Horrible. Now I can sit in my flat with a mason jar full of lentils behind me and never work out. <laughs> Day in order to avoid change and progress and stay stuck in our comfort zone when there's room for improvement. Room for improvement. Check it out, guys. This is how progress looks like a black guy with a bunch of white guys eating vegan pizza. Improvement. So yeah, why would we mind our ancestors who had lower moral standards than many of us being ashamed of us? Comparing our morality to and basing it on our ancestors to hold ourselves back from cultural change and progress of our morality. Again, progress. Is not smart progress. To do. Although veganism is an ethical Philosophy. From a holistic perspective, it's not only about human and non-human animal ethics, but also the environment. Our consumption of mass-produced animals, including fish hungry, and wild fish, is one of the leading drivers of climate change. Water and food scarcity, droughts, scarcity. marine plastic pollution, and ocean dead zones, and number one... Yeah, plastic pollution. Hmm, where does that come from? If you go to your farmer and get your meat and your raw dairy like that, or if you go to the supermarket and buy tofu? Hmm. One driver of deforestation around the globe. Oh, These issues are becoming more serious as the global human population keeps increasing. Which again, our ancestors did not have to worry about. Not even for a second. <laughs> Plus, if we want to be proud... But we have to worry about it, right? Why? Our descendants, or ancestors, not only do we have to consider the future of our descendants, but also create a fair system that serves all humans. When it comes to feeding the world... You talk about the system that feeds all humans, not taking into consideration consideration that those third world countries where we don't have the food are infiltrated by the West, absolutely destroyed, and then they offer them a plant-based solution. It be infeasible for Golden every human rice. to eat a decent amount Look of equally up. distributed meat and dairy without more deforestation, which may cause irreversible climate change, given how resource and land intensive the production of animal foods is, and how much of it is already being occupied for livestock and their feed. We don't have the land. Yeah, we talked about this a billion times here on this channel plants plants are created to feed the animals absolutely ridiculous 80 percent of those plants that are fed to those animals are not meant for human consumption at all and they're waste products of plant production for human consumption so in many countries including the u.s our standard diet would not be possible without labor rights violation and exploitation of all illegal of immigrants and people of color at meat packing plants and Justice. imported goods contaminated with slave labor which i'm sure many Many of our ancestors would not find yeah and your iphone doesn't need slave labor no it's only the meat problematic meat. therefore advocating for or recommending such diets today nice. is not Ooh, a responsible meat. thing to do Delicious. ethically environmentally ecologically or holistically i've made multiple videos explaining the details of those issues if we don't change not only our ancestors but also our descendants and future generations of humanity will be ashamed of us for saying we are animal lovers and environmental Environmentalists, while at the same time breeding billions of land animals into existence just to oh, mass so murder cute. in weeks and feeding the majority of the produced food to those animals that did not have to exist. Nope. Yet again, as I said, wrong. 80% of the animal feed is not meant for human consumption. It is simply waste product of the beer industry, of the bread industry, etc. While hundreds of millions of people are hungry, pulling trillions yeah. of fish out of the oceans every year, taking their lives for our taste preference, taste in preference. other words, to taste satisfy our sensory our pleasure, preference. killing 46 million turkeys in order to be thankful every year, while no, standing no. up against the Yulin dog meat festival and animal abuse in general, confined- Yes, yeah, some do, some don't, man. As you can see, those guys at Yulin, they don't demonstrate against their own festival. They love eating dogs 
million animals in places where they do not belong and forcing them to perform, being the ones to decide who lives and who dies, triggering some of the most threatening public health issues, including antibiotic resistance, depleting mm. water and other resources, <laughs> devastating land, and possibly destroying... Devastating land, sure, by rotational grazing and simply cows outside. Absolute devastation, man. No such catastrophe has been seen before. How about the monocrops, monocultures? No, doesn't ring a bell. Destroying the planet for them to live the on. Planet. <laughs> All right, guys, and this is it for today's video. Hey, finally, something else. Respect where respect is due. Something more creative. Finally, I had some fun again reacting to veganism. Thank you very much, Jonggu2, or whatever your name is. I appreciate it. All right, guys, if you liked the video, leave it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed already, guys, please do so. If you want to support this channel, all the links are in the description box below. Thank you so much for your ongoing support. I appreciate it. All right, as always, may God bless you all. Much love and peace.